All right, guys, here it is. There it is, a thousand subscribers. Thank you so much, guys, and stay tuned for the great content to come. Hey, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna go over the details of the Z07 package for the C7 Z06. It was raining once again here in PA, so I managed to get a couple minutes in between raindrops to make a video, so that's good. The Z07 package is something that is offered for the Z06. Um, it's the same Z06 car with a couple of added features. Um, we're going to go over what those features are right now. All right, guys. So you may have seen my car once or twice on this channel before, and it does, in fact, have the Z07 package on it. So what makes it a Z07 package, you may ask? Well, I'm here to tell you. Let's start with the visual differences. Number one, you're going to notice the bigger front end plates or canards on the front end. Um, this right here is something that's literally just offered from GM on the Z07 package. So if you don't get the Z07 package, you will not get these. Now I've heard these called end plates, canards, or winglets on the front lip. I've heard them called all these things. It doesn't really matter. Ultimately, they all add up to the same thing. They help decrease lift on the front end. Plus they look pretty cool. All right, so moving on, we find ourselves here at the carbon ceramic rotors. Now, while these aren't specifically here for visual upgrades, uh, they do look pretty cool. They fill the rim a lot better than the iron rotors on the Z06. Plus they have bigger calipers that also help give it a visual bump, so to speak. Now back here on the rear, uh, we have the traditional spoiler on, on the Z06 with the uh, bigger winglets and that center wicker bill which is right here, bridges the two winglets together. That is part of the Z07 package as well. Another option you will not get from GM without ticking that Z07 box. Um, that helps to create even more downforce on the rear. And since it is adjustable with these bolts right here, you can slide it up and down to adjust the amount of downforce or drag created. Now with all the visual add-ons that the Z07 package give you, you can buy a lot of these third party. Um, this is specifically just from GM that it is only available in the Z07 package form. So it's not that you can't get this stuff, it's just that you can't get it from GM without having a Z07 package. Well, GM has recently made the change, I believe it was in 2017, where you could get the carbon ceramic rotors on a Z06 without the Z07 package. For 2015 and 2016, it was only available these carbon ceramic rotors were only available if you got the Z07 package car. Okay, so moving on to the performance aspect of the Z07 package, which is the majority of why someone would check that box. Um, number one, you're going to get the carbon ceramic rotors, which like I said, I counted these in both the performance and the uh, visual upgrade aspect because they look cool, but ultimately they do add a good bit of performance to the braking of this car. Um, now these are standard with the Z07 package, which basically means if you check that box, you're getting carbon ceramics, there's not really any way around it. Uh, they are larger than the Z06 rotors, and obviously made out of carbon ceramic. Um, the Z06 iron rotors are 14.6 in the front and 14.4 in the rear. Now the carbon ceramics are actually 15.6 in the front and 15.3 in the rear. So the rotors themselves are a full inch bigger in the front and almost an inch bigger in the back. So like I said, it helps fill up that rim, really give it a, a nice sporty look. Now the calipers in the front and in the back are also larger than the Z06 package, which basically what those end up acting as a huge, well, a bigger uh, heat sink. So, they dissipate heat better than the Z06 rotors would as well. I recently drove JT Z06 from YouTube, uh, Cars Guys, and uh, while the brakes didn't feel any worse specifically, they definitely didn't have the initial bite of the carbon ceramics. I stated once before that I have to learn to drive this car all over again whenever it's been a while since I've taken it out because when you tap the brake pedal on these things, the car just jerks to a stop. So it's, it, you really have to be real light on the pedal to make these things stop like, uh, you know, it doesn't look like you don't know how to drive type thing. Well, you can probably see here, I have the Michelin Pilot Super Sport tires on this Z07 package car. Now, normally this package comes with the uh, Sport Cup 2 tires, and this car did have those. I took them off and put the Super Sport tires on because basically 
I'm, I haven't tracked the car and I don't have a need for the, uh, the Cup 2s. They don't handle rain or daily driving that well and these ones wear a little bit better. So I did replace them, but normally on the Z07 package you would get the, the Cup 2 tires as well. The last difference here is gonna be the suspension. So with the Z07 package, you get a stiffer suspension. And to kind of go over the differences here, I'm gonna take a quote directly from the chief suspension engineer at Corvette. He says, the suspension on a Z07 is stiffer than non-Z07 Corvettes. The springs, shocks, magnetic ride control calibration, and stabilizer bar bushings are different between the two. Here's how. The front spring has a 62% higher rate on the Z07. The rear spring has a 22% higher rate. While this means the car will ride rougher, it also means less body roll and a more controlled car planted on the ground, especially around the track. The different stabilizer bar bushings help the Z07 achieve an appropriate understeer level. The mag ride shocks on the Z07 have a tighter gap, which means higher passive curve in addition to more aggressive damping tuning. Again, meaning it rides slightly rougher, but is able to stay more planted firmly on the ground when high-speed turns are involved. Again, after driving JT's Laguna Blue Z06, I noticed immediately the difference in the suspension. The harshness of the Z07 is definitely not there, and it is a little bit more plush. While the Z07 package ride isn't horrible, the Z06 is definitely more comfortable. So just to sum it up here, the Z07 package appearance-wise, we have the end caps, the carbon ceramic rotors, and the stage three uh, rear spoiler, which like I said, is just that wicker bill in between the two winglets. Performance wise, you would normally get the Sport Cup two tires. Again, performance, you get the carbon ceramic rotors and you also get the Z07 tuned suspension package. For me, the Z07 package was something I really wanted whenever I first started looking for the car. I mostly wanted the carbon ceramic rotors uh, just for the fact that they don't really create any brake dust. Coming from my ZL1, the brake dust was a pretty real concern for me. It was just, you know, 10 miles down the road, it looked like I hadn't touched the rims as far as washing them. So I definitely wanted it for that alone. Um, I do really like the looks of the, the Stage 3 aero kit. Um, so, I mean, with the canards in the front, the extra wicker bill in the back, I, that looks really great to me. Um, like I said, the Sport Cup 2 tires are, you know, they have their own place. They're, they're definitely great for the track and stuff like that. But for me, it was mostly more of a, a drivability thing, and I didn't want to have to replace the tires every 3,000 miles or whatever it is. They don't, they don't wear real well. so. Uh, I definitely wanted to go with the, the Super Sports, so I put those on, but other than that, the Z07 package, in my opinion, is totally worth every dime. Especially after our recent YouTube meetup, seeing JT's, uh, how dirty JT's rims can get just from a little bit of the brake dust, and he, he really doesn't seem to be overly pleased with how much brake dust they, they really create. So, I mean, I love these things even more, knowing that I, I hardly ever have to wash those rims. And whenever I do, I literally just hose them off. Um, like I said a little earlier in the video, it's been raining all day, so the car's filthy. And even now, the rims still don't look that bad. So those those definitely create a lot less brake dust. They look amazing. Like I said, they, they fill up that rim inside, something like you'd see on a freaking Indy uh, race car. You know what I mean? It, it's just, it's amazing looking. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. This was another question that I've received a couple times, even outside of YouTube was what was the difference in the Z07 package. So this is really it. I mean, it, it, it really just comes down to a couple different things, but they're very sport oriented and performance oriented. So it's definitely something that in my opinion is worth the extra money. But uh, again, I mean, this is totally subjective. I think it's worth it. Will you? I don't know. Go over the list and see what you think. But anyway, if you guys liked the video, give me a big thumbs up. If you have any questions, shoot them in the comment section down below. Uh, subscribe if you haven't yet. I'd love to have you as part of the Horsepower Obsessed community. And as always, guys, I'll catch you in the next upload.